Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial of Plexus. So today we're gonna make a exercise concerning slope stability and VC reduction and analysis. But before I start, if you're into civil engineering, geotechnical engineering and learning, this is the right channel for you. Subscribe, it will be a great help. So today we're gonna talk about slope stability. I've seen many videos on YouTube about slope stabilities, but I've never seen a detailed one. So I've decided to make a detailed video, uh, but it's a video for advanced people. So if you're not advanced in Plexus, I advise you to watch the rest of my YouTube uh, YouTube videos on Plexus. I will leave a link in the description box for Plexus 2D and 3D. Well, let's start. This is the exercise. It's uh, VC reduction and comparison with Bishop's method. This will be a slope stability exercise. So before I start, what's the VC reduction? So first of all, this is the formula of the VC reduction. It's according to this rule here. And uh, the idea of VC reduction is that the soil strength is gradually reduced when failure occurs. So the corresponding strength, uh, strengths will be reduced and there will be a safety factor uh, that will be considered from this uh, strength reduction. So this is the ba uh, the basic idea of VC reduction. So now we're gonna draw a slope. It will be three meter, nine meter, zero point five three, and two point five. It's a one to two slope, and there will be a load here that will cause our slope to move. So we'll do a VC analysis, a safety factor analysis of the slope. First of all, we should draw it. These are the materials. This is the cluster here. Uh, you should uh, you should uh, put carefully the material uh, properties. So we're gonna see them here. These are the materials. This is the soil. It's more Coulomb's model. This is the general properties. This is the stiffness strengths so we will use these in the calculation so here's the stratigraphy you can see the borehole here this is the borehole we've the drawn the cluster without drawing a borehole so then we've put a linear load here we've created our mesh and then we went to stage construction so for the stage construction, I will tell you each phase what we did for each phase. So let's see them here. Here is the 3D uh, drawing. By the way, I will leave a link for this PDF also in the description box. So if you want to draw this uh, this exercise, you will uh, you will go and download the PDF and you can draw it. So these are the calculation phase. We'll do a analysis. Uh, for VC reduction without adding a load and analysis 2 will do a VC reduction after applying an external load equal to 30 kN so uh, these are the tolerated error 0.001 and maximum step is set to 200 we can see them here this is the initial phase, uh, initial phase which is gravity loading this is phase 1 there is no load on it this is phase 2 there is a load and this is phase three. We can see them, uh, the phases. I will see if they're put here. So no, uh, the phases are not here. So I'll explain each phase. This is phase one, which is gravity loading. It's the initial uh, initial phase. It's the initial uh, soil of our project. Here we did a safety calculation only for the soil without the load so here, here we can see the tolerated error and the maximum step here we've done a plastic analysis when we've put the load on the slope and here we can see in phase three after doing a plastic analysis we've made the safety analysis it's the same as the phase one this is the tolerated error and these are the steps so the purpose of this tutorial is not only the VC reduction it's only it's also the stop stability so let's see the results 
I've made the calculation in order to do it faster and to make a shorter video for YouTube. These are the phases. Here we can see the initial phase. This is the initial slope. It's under its uh, weight. This is phase one, where there is no load. This is phase two after we put a load. And this is phase three after we do a safety analysis. We can see the difference between phase two and phase three. In phase two, there's no slope stability here. There's a slope deformation. So let's see the deformation in the slope. Go to deformation strains. Let's see this one. So here we can see how the slope will break if uh, there is if it if there will be failure in the slope. It will break like this from here to here. All the slope will get down. So this is our slope stability. These are the lines here. You can see the lines, but here it's clearer. So now I'll also make a uh, a graph for it. Here they've made a graph, and they've made also uh, a slope stability. This is the Bishop slip circle, so it's the same as obtained. This is the 3D model. Well, I've not drawn it in the 3D model, but it will be no problem. So let's create a uh, graph like this one. So I've made several videos about graphs and how to create them. You can check them. I'll go to chart, new chart. I choose here node and total displacement. Here I will choose project multiplier and I will choose this safety factor. So we can't see anything here because the scale is very large. We should do a smaller scale. I'll double click here. I'll go to chart and I'll choose manual. I'll choose the maximum scale here. Well, I'll try 0 0.15 and see. So here we can see uh, the node and the safety factor, the safety analysis. Uh, so this graph is exactly like this one you can see the deformation and the safety factor when the deformation reach 0 0.05 we have a safety factor of 1.5 so this is for uh, the graph here if we go back to our results we can check also the total displacement of the mesh so this is phase one phase one is the slope stability under its own weight so here we can see that there will be a uh, a displacement in the same way as the bishop model this is phase two this is a plastic analysis so in plastic analysis we do not get the slope stability it's very important if you want to get a slope stability analysis to do a safety factor analysis as you can see here this is the displacement but when we do a safety factor we see we can see the displacement in the slope so the slope will break in this way from here to here and as I've said earlier this is the total strength uh, strains we can see the strain here we can see the the strain how it will break also so I'll do a small recap I've drawn the structure here I've made my cluster I've put a line load from here and then created a mesh went to scratch construction the initial phase was gravity loading phase one was safety analysis for the slope without the load phase two we've put the load and made the plastic analysis for phase three we've done a safety analysis also and these are the these are the multipliers that i've changed here so as i've said in order for you to make a slope stability analysis you should do a safety factor analysis this is very crucial for uh, to obtain the shape of the displacement and the slope stability analysis 
so I leave the PDF in the description box and uh, if you have any question just leave them in the comment section and I will respond to your question thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos